Just a matter of time. Hi guys and welcome back to Just a matter of time. So, for our lesson today, we will talk about sequences. We are going to tackle about arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, and Fibonacci sequence. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so na tayo sa assignment natin. Wala akong naiintindihan. Sige, pre. Sige, pre. Ako, sige. ako nasa arithmetic. Ikaw sa geometric. Tsaka sa ano. Okay, wala natin. Wala natin. Okay. So first of all, we have the arithmetic sequence. So the arithmetic sequence is a constant increase. And that constant increase is called the common difference. Or it can also be symbolized by the letter D. So its general formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus parenthesis n minus 1 close parenthesis times D. So here's an example for you. A, so first of all, we use the general formula. So here are our values. n is equal to 5, a sub 1 is equal to 2, and D is equal to 2 as well. So first we write the general formula, then we replace all of the letters or the variables with the values that were given. So we have a sub 5 is equal to 2 plus 5 minus 1 times 2. a sub 5 is equal to 2 times 4 times 2, which is 8. So 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So a sub 5 is equal to 10. To prove this, we can simply add 2 to every to 2 until we get the fifth term. So 2 plus 2 equals to 4 plus 2 again, 6, 8, and 10. So this proves that its answer is correct. In today's video, I will show you how to solve arithmetic sequence. First, we have to do the formula as shown. And then our n is 5 and a is also 5. Then our common difference is 7. Then we times it, which equals to 28, then add the 5, and the total comes to 33. In a word problem, we will just underline all the key points and then write the general formula. Next, we will replace it all with all the key points and then subtract what's in the parentheses. Then we will multiply that with a common difference, and after we solve it, we will add it with the a sub 1 and have our final answer. So now, we have the geometric sequence. The geometric sequence is an increase by multiplication. This is called the common ratio, or symbolized by the letter R. So its general formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. So here's an example for you. n is equal to 10, a sub 1 is equal to 2, and r is equal to 2 as well. So first, we use the general formula. Then again, we replace all of the letters or variables with the values that were given. So a sub 10 is equal to 2 minus 2 raised to the power of 10 minus 1. It's equal to 2 times 2 raised to the power of 9. 2 times to the power of 9 just means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 until it reaches 9. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that answer will give you 512. So a sub 10 is equal to 2 times 512, and that will give you 1024. So that is our final answer. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Now replace the variables with the numbers. So it will be, so the a, a sub n will be a sub 5, then the a sub 1 is, is going to be 16, and then the r will going to be 2, and then the n is 5 then minus 1. So the next is a sub 5 is equals to 16 times 2. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So it will be 2 raised to 4. Then the next is a sub 5 is equals to 16 times 2 raised to 4. It will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it will be 16. So a, su a, sub, uh, a sub 5 is equals to 16 times 16. So the answer is a sub 5 is equals to 256. So in a word problem like this, you have first to analyze the given numbers. So underline all the key points and write the formula to solve the problem. First is a sub 6 equals 5 times 3 to the power of 6 minus 1. Next is a sub 6 equals 5 times 3 to the power of 5. Next is a sub 6 equals 5 times 243. And the final answer is a sub 6 equals 1,215 flowers, which is the final answer. In Fibonacci, you basically just add the last two terms together. The original Fibonacci sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on, and so forth. In this example, we will just add the last two terms to, to get the next term. In this case, we have 0 0.25 and 0 0.25. We add these two to get the next, then so on and so forth, until we get out 
desired terms. And after we do that, we have our final answer. To find the 12th term of the Fibonacci pattern, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, we will be adding those previous two, two terms to find the 12th term. First is 1 plus 1 equals to 2. 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. 3 plus, eight, eh, 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. And so on and so on. And when you reach the 12th, 12th term, that will be the final answer. So that is all for our lesson today. I hope you learned something. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, math should not be rushed. It's just a matter of time. <laughs>